Oh my god. I got a zin in. Oh my There you go. A little minty minty fresh. Honestly, when I take one of those, <sighs> clears my shit up. Maybe I need that fucking Vix oh, on hey, the top just lip. Did? Oh. Hey, I'm Say gonna... that. <laughs> I'm gonna order those mints too. Oh my god, that's strong. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I'm going to order those mints, too. So what the, mints? The ones that make you drool like a, <laughs> the blowjob mints. Ah! Well, Ooh, babe. What? Well, I'll take one and see how much we drool on ourselves. That's funny. That's, I mean, we got we to gotta throw content. Another one? Oh. One for one side, one for the other side. Shut up, dogs! Oh! Ha! We ready? Yep, let's do this. Fuck yeah, bro. All right. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Oh yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the Gentleman's Den. Kayla, Jeff, and Sean here in the studio. Ready yep. to yap in the microphones for your listening pleasure. Yes. Eminem is back. That's all I'm going to say. Yes. He's oh, back. Good. Slim Shady's back, though, right? It's the death of Slim Shady. <laughs> Coup de gras. They kind of battle. It's back to, like, his first two albums, which I'm super pumped about. I know. I'm excited. I haven't... Uh, I told you earlier, I haven't bought an album since the Marshall Mathers LP. Yeah. Those first two albums are top-notch. Mm -hmm. But you guys had me do the reaction to his new song that everyone's getting uh, offended by, and I was just like, this is... Uh, Par for the course. I it's feel legitimately like. forty-one seconds. Well, that's the thing. Like it's just Eminem, but it's just funny. Like he's back, you know. Like, it's he's purposely just giving the middle finger to woke culture. Yeah, and I love it. And I'm here for it. I love it. What these dogs? I that's, don't know what they're whining about. That's why I love like watching those videos of. If we could talk about one generation being the worst generation, Gen X is the worst generation. Blah blah, and then. Some fucking Gen Xer comes on and just is like, y'all need to shut the fuck up. And then the millennials are also going, y'all need to shut the fuck up because if you get these guys going, you're all in trouble. Yep. I missed the Gen X cut, apparently. 85. No. It says I'm a, if I look it up, it says I'm a millennial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're grouped with me. That's not right. No, nah, you're. I grew up with no cell phone. We had to go outside to play. Yeah, but I, cell phones were a thing and, like once you came into like high school. My mom had a cell phone with a bag on it. It came in a bag, <laughs> plastic bag. Do you remember those? Yes, the old bricks. The bricks. Well, I just know the one cell phones. They were huge. That was the Zach Morris. No, the, the Zach the, Morris. These, had these a, were like a Christ. legitimate brick. A bag, and you pull it out, and the numbers were on the back, and they were that weird you rubber. You had to push through the plastic bag. Yeah. That's <laughs> yes. weird. And they cost like $47 a minute to use. And the internet was so infant. I feel like to be a millennial, you have to have access. I feel like grade school, you needed access to like the full internet. I mean, we had an internet in grade school, but it wasn't like. <laughs> what is going on? With They're show? whining. They're sad. They want to come downstairs. No, no. Okay. Absolutely. Well, we might have to close the door then because they're angry. Oh boy. All right. Talk amongst yourselves. What? We'll be so, right here waiting. <laughs> <laughs> There's the clip of the week. Oh, no, my but God. I mean, when I was obviously when I was in high school, we didn't have the internet. And That's I, so crazy to me. I used encyclopedias and fucking. So, my mom, speaking of encyclopedias, my mom, like, because I feel like the internet was still, like, not really used it was in still school. Dial up. Oh yeah, no, for sure it was dial up. Actually, I was I was spoiled, and I did get a second phone line so that I could still be on the phone with my friends and be on the internet. Yeah. Um, but my mom did buy me. Do you remember those infomercials for those encyclopedias? Encyclopedia Brit Britannica. I think so. Yeah, my mom bought me them. <laughs> Bless you. Sorry. My mom bought me those, and I had all of them. The yellow ones? Uh, no, they were. I think they were maroon. We had World Book. That's what I had. Was World Book Encyclopedia. I don't. These were. I don't remember the name of them. I just remember she bought me a whole thing of encyclopedias. So, all I remember is that when I grew up and you type something in, there's a good chance you wouldn't find it. 
Oh, yeah. And no. now, if you type it in, you are finding it. And then some. And if you don't find it, you spelled wrong. <laughs> right. But Google fixes that for you, too. I remember it was uh, the TRL days. Remember, you used to sit around and wait for music videos. Yes. So, yeah, you'd be like, why am I sitting here watching this when I can just go online and type in the music video and watch it? You could type it in and not find it. It wasn't yes. on the Internet. I just. I do remember that. I, yeah. saw, I saw something that made me giggle and cry at the same time. Oh, no. It was the lead singer of Newfound Glory. Remember on TRL, if, they're, if they were on the like countdown for more than a certain amount of time, they'd be put into the graveyard, and they like get a plaque, and they would have, like, there was, like... Oh, if they were on the top 10? Yeah, if they're in the top 10 for, like, too many weeks, they would retire the video so they could have a new video come in. Yeah. He was talking about their one of their videos being retired, and I was like, I forgot how big that band was at that time. My friends yeah, over you, that video got played and played and played. Played. TRL, I don't think people understand like how big that was. People oh, were was signs so screaming outside the glass Times windows. Times Square was <laughs> packed with fucking kids every day. Every so when day. I was 13, pretty sure I was 13, my mom brought me to see my grandma and my uncles all that all live in Connecticut in New York. And we went to New York City. We took the subway down there. Mm -hmm. And I remember... First off, I wore white pants, like white cargo type pants. Which, was it after oh, Labor Day? I don't know when it was, but <laughs> uh, uh, up to like Day. my knees was black from walking around New York City. Because it's filthy. Yeah. But I remember we finally went by and I was like, Mom, Mom, can I please stand here? Because everybody was just kind of starting to get like yeah. lined up and there was room right in the front. Yeah. Right in the front. And I was like, oh, Mom, Kayla. we could be on TV. Like. This would be so cool. My mom was like, yeah, that's fine. Like, we'll do that. And then my grandma wanted to go home. Damn it, grandma. No, seriously, fuck you, grandma. It's those cool, <laughs> that it's one. Those cool little experiences. Like, that would be a memory <laughs> forever, you know? I remember I went to a taping of the Jerry Springer show, and that was fucking amazing. That's awesome. My sisters did that. I didn't do the Jerry Springer show. It is crazy how small it was. Oh, yeah. And... That's like I was blown away by how small it was. Because in TV, it looks pretty decently big studio. But you get in there, it's very tiny. Like, you're worried that when fists start going, you're going to get hit? Oh, no. I wasn't worried about that. Oh. No, but when you everything on TV looks obviously way bigger. That TRL studio was a closet. Speaking of. I was very surprised that my comment didn't get put on air. There was a very large woman who was... A, uh, sleeping with a married man and they were uh renting it was a they had sex in the back of a rental car oh yeah and at the end you got to stand up and ask questions so i stood up and i asked how <laughs> how much it costs to run a dump truck <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't, put it that. didn't get on air i was i was like did people was laugh good oh yeah Oh, that's Good awesome. reaction. that's awesome. Very that upset. is fucking hilarious but speaking of rooms looking bigger like on TV than in real life, um, at work, our social worker, I yeah. won't put her name out there. She was telling, you know, our ED about the podcast and she goes, it's just so crazy. She goes, because it looks like they're in this big area when they're on that podcast. She goes, and then you go over there and you realize they're just in a little corner. Well, when we had, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when Gilly came over, he's yeah. like, oh, this is it, huh? It's like, yeah. <laughs> Yep, this yeah, is this it. this tiny little... This is our tiny little corner. Timo tiny little lights corner. and... <laughs> right? It's my... Shout uh, out. My little den. Yeah. yeah that's funny. And that was when when Jeff and Kayla first bought the house. The first thing I looked at was this corner and said, there it is. <laughs> it's perfect. So that's the perfect size. It's not going to be overpowering. The sound's not going to fucking bounce off the walls too bad. It's... it's I mean, because it's so close, so you're not going to get a lot of echo. Yeah. Boy was right. We were right. I do think we need to get rid of that table right there. Kayla, this I know. is my It's got to be what it is right now. But this is his we will. of solitude. Yeah, we'll, fig we'll figure this out. Yeah. We're, we're infants in this journey. <laughs> Just tiny babies. Just tiny babies. Have you seen those videos of like that baby where people are like, Winnie told me I was pretty, and the baby's in that floaty, and she's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's so cute. 
Have you seen it? I have not. I'll have to show you after this. It's seriously the cutest little baby. Like, it's just in its floaty, and it's just happy as can be. Just, mm. Like, we always joke about my Instagram algorithm because it's always got wild-ass shit on it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the wildest. My TikTok algorithm is, like, fucking so bleh. Mine it's, doesn't make sense. It's, like, cat videos <laughs> of cats, like. Like, being, no, I typed in pussy. <laughs> Well, <laughs> not cats. Well, it's like cat videos, like video games, Say what I shit, want. and oh. some comedian stuff. And then every now and then, it'll something will pop up and be out of like the thing. I'm like, oh, hey, Indian death metal. No, that was all Instagram. That was Instagram. Instagram's got that wild algorithm. Maybe I need to get on TikTok. I, I like haven't my uh, algorithm on TikTok. I haven't. Uh, I try. I've enjoyed the old TikTok. Yeah, I try sabotaging it. Kayla's algorithm every chance I get. <laughs> so you've only shit. made it better. Like now there's just it, it, so much like sometimes something will pop up like a old murder that they're trying to solve, like videos will pop up of that. And I'm like, yes. And then I scroll and there's babies and floaties all happy. And then there's dogs and then there's comedians. I'm like, this is perfect. <laughs> and I also was getting the uh, the storage guys buying storage. Storage wars. Yeah. Nice. Shit a lot too. And, and it's the same guy. Is that still a thing? Storage wars? Probably. I don't think so. Maybe. I don't know. I don't fucking pay attention to TV anymore. <laughs> People are, they're building nothing but storage units everywhere. Well, yeah, because everybody's losing their houses because they can't <laughs> afford them anymore. Or to live in a storage unit. <laughs> they I put saw, all their shit in storage. Yeah, some lady the other day, what was it? She had a grocery, she gets her groceries online, you know, and then just picks them up. So uh, she did her same order from 2020. She did it now, and it was like $70, and it was like 193 the exact same order. Sometimes I think, though, because I did try this. Yes. Because I saw it, and I was like, I'm going to look it up, which I know it is more expensive now. But I think what's happening is people are going on, and they're going, because it happened to me. I went on to Walmart. Went to my old order from pre-COVID and looked at how cheap it was. And so I pushed it in to reorder. Mm -hmm. It doubled it. It doubled the order. Oh, it doubled the order. So I was like, holy shit, it has gone up in price. It. But you had two of everything. I had two of everything. So um, when I went through and I fixed right. it, it I, was better. I would agree with that. I went to the grocery store. No, shit is definitely more expensive. This week. And I got... Like four gallons. I didn't buy any meat. I didn't buy any proteins because I'm not working this week. Fuck yeah, I'm not working this week. So Jealous. I just I just bought like shit I'll eat during the week, but it was like fruit and all that fun shit. But it was 134 dollars, and I had nothing. Did you go to Burkle's? Of course I did. Yeah, well they're more <laughs> expensive too, but but that was a seventy dollar order three years ago when there's a sign on the glass for to get to the eggs that says why the price is so high yeah. you know there's a problem well and like i said i know things are definitely more expensive that is a thing but i think some people like because when i did it i was like holy shit it's like 300 dollars more and no it wasn't it was like 80 90 bucks more which is still that's insane. A, still a lot of money i mean car insurance I did watch this video of this guy. He broke everything down, like percentages from 1950s, what you made, what houses yeah. cost, food, and like what it is now. That's what's crazy. And it is like minimum wage. Nothing has gone up, like when it comes to income. It's nope. gone up no. like prices. 2%, but prices have gone up like they've like tripled. Yeah. But make the same amount of money and survive. Like they did like a teacher's salary 20 years ago and how much a house cost 20 years ago mm -hmm. and teacher's salary now and how much it costs how much a house costs now it is it Sad. blows your fucking mind i saw a video there's the old street interviews there's two girls and the one girl did they have is, a cup they, they had, no gross that's art sir but oh, anyway God. <laughs> but um so, <laughs> so gross it is so the guy asked you know how much does a man need to make for you to be comfortable and one girl goes, my dude only makes like $30,000 a year, and I'm perfectly happy with him. And her friend's like, what? That's all he makes? <laughs> and this girl, bless your soul, lady, but when your gut's hanging over the front of your pants, you shouldn't be asking for anybody making over $200,000 a year. Who's that one no, lady? No, but I will. What lady? 
Gorgia? Gorg? Gorgantuan? Who's oh, that? Gorgoth the Destroyer? <laughs> That's a dude, by the way. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I thought so, but then someone's like, no, that's a chick. And I'm like, Where? there's no way. Have you not seen? The certified baddie? She's a certified baddie, Kayla. Oh, oh, oh. I think I know exactly who you're talking about, but please show me so I can confirm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Gorgoth the Destroyer. Oh, my God. The Destroyer. Oh. Anytime she talks, all I want to do is put fucking uh, Jabba the Hutt's voice over I her. think I'm thinking of the Kusana exact same person. Na beach no na na. Oh. Gorgoth the Destroyer. Yes. Yep. My lord. Yep. That. Yeah. yeah. And the oh. way that I, is, that is God a, bless her. His. That her, is a trans. God bless her confidence. Yeah. Her confidence is through the roof. I. Go so get is love, her cholesterol. I would love to have that <laughs> sort of confidence. <laughs> love it. Oh yeah, that's. that's yeah, special. I. But. Going back to the $30,000 a year for her friend to say, that's it. Like, that sounds shitty. However, for if you have a family, well, there is no way in hell. These are younger. $30,000 a year doesn't get oh, you no. any. Like, you but can't that's, support a family on that. I feel like that's the big thing. A lot, no. of those, uh, a lot of those talk shows, and they have different perspectives. So it is, it is weird to get a, a woman's perspective and a guy's perspective because a lot of the girls that they have on the show... They want him to be five foot ten, which is your average height. I feel it's like, not it average. It's five, That's like a, five seven, five eight yeah. is average. That's a short five dude. nine. Anyway, and then he has to make That's like a hundred something thousand dollars a year. This and that. They want all these things, but then when they ask the guys who are supposed to be, you know, these these pigs, um, they ask a woman if your man worked at McDonald's, would you oh, be happy Burger with King that? One. Yes, and would he treat you right? Like, would you be cool with that? And they're like, absolutely not. But yeah. then you ask any of the guys, and they're like, she treated you right. She did all this. She was a beautiful woman, and she worked at Burger King when you had a problem. And the guys every time are like, no, no. The one where the, I I'm sure he is of Middle Eastern type descent, where he just goes off on these girls. He's like, oh, is he talking about reading a book? <laughs> no, no. He go, He looks at all of them and he goes, all of you would never look at a Burger King employee because men date under what they are worth and women date up. So every one of your exes is better than you. And he says it to their face. <laughs> wow. He said the men are the, the, uh, the romantic species and the females are... Of the devil is actually what he said. Oh Jesus! I don't know if that's necessarily true. Like, I. It, it, but I feel in like some most tenses. It I is. feel like most women expect the, the man to make more money, be for providers. Well, yeah, I mean that's, but that's what it was for so Forever. long, right? Is the women stayed home and took care of the kids in the house, and the men worked. Now, unfortunately, now. You're very blessed if you get to stay at home. Well, my like, my favorite well, right you can, now is, I don't think you can survive without two incomes. My favorite now. is That's what I mean. the ultra feminist. I don't need a man. Men don't even even need to be here. We could run this. And, and, you can't reproduce without them, sweetheart. Well, well, it's not even that. You go turkey basters. Go, From go, what? If dudes aren't here, what? We're just gonna be. We we're gonna basing? be cows pretty soon. We're and just gonna be milked the, in a factory. The, well, <laughs> and the you guy, guys are gonna. What the guy the said was. It's going to be awful. He goes, if all it was was women, the infrastructure would crumble and your roads would be horrible because none of you are going to work those shit jobs where you're out in the sun for 97 hours a week mm -hmm. filling potholes and doing Listen, electrical. There are very few women I, I personally know that would do those jobs. I agree with you, but... Very few. Yeah, you're gonna have five to five million. Yeah, like I don't want to do that shit. No. I told him, I said, I want to be a flag girl for construction. I'll just stand there and hold the flag. Like I'm fine with that. And then you realize you're standing in direct sunlight for eight hours with cars passing you all day yes. and taking bong hits of exhaust all day I long. I still think I would be okay with that, but I wouldn't want to be moving. doing the labor part of it. Like I'd be fine standing there. Oh well, yeah, of of course. <laughs> I don't want to do the like, labor part. Like I understand part. that completely. 
I'll be the water girl. I'll bring you water and hold flags. But That's th- what I want. There's some women who will and do, but it's just so few and far between. Yes. There is a unrealistic expectation mm-hmm. in life right now. Because you see all the shit on the internet. You see everybody, you know, everybody's internet famous. Everybody's this, everybody's that. It's not the real world. No. It's not It's not how it works. And if you want that, what you're not looking at, yeah, you're looking at the finished product. You're not what looking you're, at what they went through to get there. What you're not looking at is them eating, you know, ramen every night for mm-hmm. five years so they could save up enough money to buy a better camera to save up enough money to buy better equipment to put themselves in those positions. So all that glitters is not gold. Shout out <laughs> fucking smash mouth. <laughs> but if you just RIP, right? Yes. If you would just grind a little bit. Wow, that was my that was loud. What was that? My His lord. Tummy. That was my <laughs> All I had was a salad today. Boy's trying to watch his weight. I got some mac and cheese upstairs. I know. Last I time I had mac and cheese, I ended up in the back of an ambulance. <laughs> Haven't had it since. <laughs> Is that what pushed you over Not the my mac and no. cheese. No, but I watched you put three and a half pounds of butter in that. What? Salad. I put a half a stick. That's what it calls for. I know I it's can't a lot believe of butter, how much but... butter goes into mac and cheese. It's a lot I can. A lot of butter. I can. A lot of dairy in the old mac and cheese. Oh, yeah. And fake cheese. Do you feel that it's more stressful nowadays for, for guys? Because they feel like they have to have this, they have to have this certain type of lifestyle why to even like think, attract a woman. Why do you think male suicide rate is so high? Well, probably depression a lot, but we I know just I feel like female it, suicide's you know? gone up too, though. I mean, I don't know. I haven't looked at <laughs> the statistics. statistics statistically, is it's because girls are fucking evil. It's uh, ew, because it's a fucking McDonald's. Men are trying yeah. to live up to expectations that they will never reach. Just like, which is funny because women don't. So many women think they don't need men. Just but like we do it. Mostly, let's be honest. Everything that we do mostly is for you guys. If we could live in a cardboard box, we would. Like there's the famous picture yeah. of uh, a living room. It just has a fucking reclining chair, a TV on the floor, and yeah, like no drapes. And it's like they, they, they can't stand that We're not comfort all creatures. this is will make us happy. We're not comfort creature, creatures. If it wasn't for Kayla living in this house with me, I wouldn't have any fucking shit on the walls it'd just be a fucking oh, couch a tv you would have shit on the walls but maybe it'd be jordan like jordan <laughs> kobe yeah. fucking iverson yeah it would it'd pretty much look like this all yeah. over the place just knickknack i know but bullshit. like my thing's always been like i want people to feel like at home when they come over and so many people do say that like when they come over they're like it's just so home and when that's come here. where the woman right comes that is in the woman right. honestly yeah. it's a house but when you have a woman and a partner, honestly, I feel like you you guys make it like a home. Feel it homey. Yeah. I, You're my homie. I heard oh, Thanks. <laughs> I, I, I heard the one thing and it and it it resonated and it made me a little sad. It is your grandfather had to work three times as less to get a woman that is five times better than any woman out there now. Yeah. So as a man, yeah. you have to put in so much more work to get someone who is so much not worth it. Yeah. And no, it is sad. It is sad. And that but, is, that's not a knock to you because you're, you're completely different than the fucking normal female. I'm sorry. You're, you're one of the guys. <laughs> that's why I get to sit in the gentleman's den. No, it's, mm. it, it's your attitude and how you're raised. You're, my, you're, you. Well, I was just raised very like. I don't even, honestly, I don't know. I don't. Within your means. Well, I was a very spoiled child. Yeah. But, but I, I feel like I hung out with my grandma a lot. My grandma watched me a lot while my mom worked, my dad worked. Yeah. And so I was very much raised around that old school. Yeah. My grandma Mentality. took care of the house and the kids. My grandpa worked, and that's. Pull you up by the bootstraps, get your ass to work. Yeah. If you, you want don't something, get to you have feelings, you it. don't cry. Just you keep going. <laughs> You push that down. You fucking keep going. Yeah. Shove that shit down. You cry in the shower. That's yes. It. Or you don't cry in the shower because you've shoved it so deep that you can't cry in the shower. It's down it, in it, the belly. Yeah, and then the problem is that it comes out in the most violent way possible. Wow. 
The explode. Yep. It's like a volcano. Just it just bubbles. One thing. Jeff can see it happening. He's like, oh, oh no! Fuck. I know. I've been around you long enough. I, I can see it happen. It's <laughs> awesome. All right. There's a certain look Kayla gets in her face that it's like, oh, it's murder time. All right. Hurricane Kayla. Time for me to leave. Running through. I try I, not to. It's one of those ones where I'm like, Jeff, sorry, I got to go because yeah. you're about to get yelled at for, <laughs> so, for dropping a sock on the floor six months ago. I try not to be like that anymore. Or any less. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> no, it's just crazy the times we're living in, man. It's just uh, it's, it's nuts. I don't understand. Hope women everyone's now. doing good, surviving, keep pushing. Like it's if if you keep have that person pushing. that you, the way I look at a relationship is a person that you're with needs to push you to be a better person, mm-hmm. and not bitch and scream and yell and be an asshole where it demeans you. It's like, hey, you know you're not pulling your weight. Pull your shit together. Get moving. Vice versa. You're, well, it's there's such a, always a push. It, it a, should be a partnership, be you know? It's, yeah. No one's better than anyone. I mean, you know, I feel like I've gotten, ever since, you know, we were together, it's like, I've just, I've gotten better every every step. Like I said, She's both of you have me in grown very as positive. a human, as, as, human I, as a fucking outside observer. Yeah, and I try to push her. I've been you know, here the whole damn I, time. I try mm-hmm. to push her confidence. Like, yeah. That's what you should be doing. Yeah. Not you should be doing this and you should, we need to do this. You're not an anchor. You're supposed to be pushing them to the next level. I feel like the gays got it right. They're like, this is my partner. Because I mean, I feel like that's what it should be. It's, this isn't my, this is my wife. She cooks. Like, no, this is, she's my partner. I cook. (laughs) I do all the shit. Yeah. We both do all the shit. That's the way it should be. Yep. You're my partner. And like I said, I think that's the st- the base of a good relationship is if you push each other to be better than you were the day before. Sometimes I'm worse than the day before. but hey, It happens. You know. you know what, though? But you learn from those. You don't hold on to them. It's not, it's not like a five Two steps day. back to go one step forward. But well, I, I can at least admit happens. now when I'm an asshole. I used to never admit that. So I yeah, that, that going. Baby steps. Pride is a liar. Pride is a liar because I didn't do anything wrong. And then you actually sit down and kind <laughs> of like dissect it. I like, guess yeah, kind of fucked shit. up. Shit. <laughs> yeah. I I done did that. Yep. I done did a Sorry, lot. Sorry, I've been wa- a lot of introspective videos lately. Good. <laughs> yeah, that's my, good. Trying to get myself out of the fucking funk. And well, I always and think I'm, about uh, some shit, and then uh, you know something will pop up, and it, it'll just change my perspective on how I look something. I'm like. Oh. That's fucking right. Maybe I should just fucking chill out when that happens. Well, I said. This well, I said that to. I put that post up today for the unselfish mind. And it was. Ah, uh, now I can't think of it because I just got thrown off by a little munchkin walking down here. Already, so cute. She's all um, ready for the, the party. Munchie. We're going to a Hawaiian party. Yeah. If you guys can't tell. <laughs> I forgot. He's uh, gonna get his Hawaiian gear. Friendship out. isn't about this about who you spend the most time with. It's about who you had the best time with. Oh, I did see that. And it's, I'm lucky. And like I said, I'm lucky enough where I spend the most time with you guys and still have the best time with you guys. There's not many friends you could say that about. Like our friend group, period. I have never had a bad time. No, it's just, and it's good vibes. I mean, good vibes only, right? I mean, it's just, if you can find someone who's let's just let's just have fun i don't know we don't I, I like to have fun it's not like whatever happened yesterday is yesterday's fucking problem yeah it's when you punch out of work it stays at work uh-huh. sometimes <laughs> but well <laughs> yeah. Bella. get out from under the table please bells go upstairs honey you're pulling all the wires you. she's down here I, I know you guys didn't see me with the Nerf bullet. Yeah, they're everywhere. I, she handed it to me. Keep going. Okay, go. You're gonna hey. hit the camera. Go. Th- oh, oh no, you did. Go. Yes. All right, love you. Okay, go upstairs. Oh, so angry. That's yeah. my daughter. It definitely oh my. is both of your kids. So Jesus special. Christ. She's a special girl. <sighs> Touch of the tism. Mm-hmm. 
my mom. Such a autism. How dare you? Just like her. All right, hold on so. now. We're going to take a little break in the podcast. No, go ahead, here. keep talking. We're going to talk. What are Speaking we of, because Sean's about to do a fucking shotgun live on the podcast, I'm going to talk about the belly of the beast that I witnessed yesterday. Oh. The uh, Midwest's finest. World yes. of Outlaws. World of Outlaws. Sprint racing, baby. If you haven't experienced sprint racing, it, it's yeah, those outlaws. wild dirt track cars with those funky looking wings. The big and ass My wings. lord. It's crazy. It uh, is. Shout out to the company I work for because most of the bodies out there were all from my company. Oh, nice. Shout, shout out. out. You want to give them a shout out? No. <laughs> actually, actually, five star uh, race car bodies. They uh, make the best bodies on the market. Actually, most of our stuff's on NASCAR now, too. Make the best bodies. How the MD3 bodies. is maximum downforce. You guys keep those bodies tight over there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't swallow this in. I'll be puking all my guts. Can't swallow this in. All right, let's go. <laughs> Pop. One, two, three. Yep, and it's empty. It's gone. Ow. Didn't we just talk about this on the last podcast? I want one Wisconsin? of those shotgun guns. Ah, yeah, those are cool. Have oh, you no. seen it? Yes. Have you seen the shotgun? Yes. Okay, okay thank Munchie. You upstairs. upstairs. I love you. I'm a follow. You got a half so hour. Damn it. When you come you gonna back go pee? Down, All right, can you we'll bring be here. These, please. Yeah. Thank you. It's yeah. Just They're grab not the same, one. But just grab one. Okay. I won't be picky. Oh my oh, lord. Like <laughs> She's special. Our daughter. Yeah, we're here. We're here. Hi, hon. Hi. It's me and you. We're it alone is. now. Oh, You no. want to make out? No. <laughs> Before Sean gets back? Come no. on. Put your tongue in For my the mouth. whole world to see. Oh. <laughs> I seen you make mac and cheese up there. Every time I got you a drink, I was just <laughs> getting some out of well, the ladle. Like, I, didn't, I didn't want mac and cheese, but I have a salad up there, and I was like, I could eat this salad, but I know what today is going to entail at this party. So I know I need carbs. Good carb up. Oh, yeah. Right. Yesterday, I didn't really eat any carbs. I brought two brats to work, and that is what I ate. Just the brats. No bread. And then I went over. Just, okay. I went over. I mean, the brats are good by yeah, themselves. Yes. Yeah. But I, then I went over to our, you know, our friend's house. Mm -hmm. And I had some drinks. And then her husband made us dinner on the flat top. That's what I was trying to tell you. I want to get the oh, recipe. Nice. He was making, uh, he made cheese tortellini with pork sausage and like an Alfredo sauce on it. On the flat top? Yes. Mm, I'm intrigued. So freaking good. Cheese tortellini? You yes. Oh, you yeah. would have loved it. I'm, I'm pretty sure it. it was cheese tortellini. So anyways, it was delicious. Um, and I need to get the recipe. Told them yes, that. please do. But I just had like a small bowl because I really wasn't hungry. So I just ate that little bit. And then I kept drinking. <laughs> And I, That's why I thought. So, full disclosure, I went to the races last night. Milady uh, went to her friends, had cheese tortellini, mm -hmm. and uh, we were going to do the podcast last night. And I came home, and your car wasn't here, so I figured you were still getting. Yeah, me. no. And here I am. I'm like, normally I'm the one that goes to sleep early for the podcast, and then it doesn't happen. So I was like, <laughs> I'm I got stay done. Awake. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to yeah. stay awake. And oh shit! <laughs> Damn it, Sean. Don't run. Don't hurt yourself. Um, so, yeah, then I was like, all right, we got done over there. I was like, I need to get back home, like close to home. Mm -hmm. So I came back this way um, and called Sean and was like, meet me at the bar. We're going to wait till we hear from Jeff and we'll then we can do the podcast. They so didn't I, hear no from Jeff. shit. I walk into the bar, get all these weird ass looks because here's Sean and I at the bar and all the locals are like, where's Jeff? Why is Jeff here? Man, what are they doing at the bar together? And Sean and I were talking with Casey and them about like when we thought you'd be done. And I'm like, but then I realized what time it was. And so I go on. I don't often check your location by any means, but I did. Because I'm like, where is this guy? And I look and I was like, this motherfucker's at home. And that's when I called you. I was like, Sean and I are at the bar. Like, I'm trying to I stay was, awake. For I was this honestly podcast. done. It wouldn't have been a great podcast. I was hurting, and not even from the drinking. My head was just bad. No, it's fine. It's just like it. It we, might have been the drink. We were on two totally different wavelengths last night. Like you thought I was still at Steph's. I'm at the bar trying to stay awake. Didn't well, even get a drink. 
legitimately Kayla walked in and she's checked your location. And I was like, all right, rad. I'm going back home. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I know, but it was funny when I walked in, like, I feel like so many people looked at me like, I got spies everywhere. What the fuck are you doing? I'm like, it, oh, just out with Big Bear. <laughs> it, in, all, in all honesty, it's brother and sister at this point. For real, mind your business, locals. This, <laughs> this would never happen ever. Because she's got a huge cock. Huge. Sean can mm. handle it. No. no. Only Jeff can. I can handle it. Jeff's got that Coke can booty hole. <laughs> yeah, with the whistle. <laughs> <It's a Coke. laughs> what a great slice of Americana, though. The races. Oh, my Lord. I know I have it. You know, well, I might have gone one time to see the outlaws. But it is just uh, everything you think about Midwestern people. That's what's there. Well, I mean, yeah, I've been there for the sprint um, races, just not the outlaws. The 29th is five star night. With the outlaws, you get a, you get a. Ooh. So if you guys want to go, that's a you Sunday. get a discount because you find out. Yeah. All right, let's go. I don't know if we'll be. Kill's able. never been. When's that? A Monday. Yeah, it's a Monday. Oh, okay. No, I think I've been to the outlaws one time, because, um, I don't want to use her. Fat. I don't want to use fatty. her real name. <laughs> <laughs> Roller pig. Um, <laughs> Auntie B is. Auntie B's family was into it. Yeah. So I think I went for Outlaws one time okay. in like high school. Otherwise, I've just been for the sprint races. So I'd be down to go. There's a yeah, lot I'll of out. hooting and hollering. Lot oh, of yeah. Yeah. It's a special breed out there. Oh, I am, let me tell you. I am super excited not to have to get up at 3 o'clock in the morning this next week. I'm jealous. You'll be off all week. Bet. Um, also, I'm going to tell the podcast listeners this, too. I'm going to co- come over and cook dinner for you guys one night. <gasps> oh, my what? God. I Is want... it Crunchwraps? It should no. be every night. No. It That's should be my every... specialty. You no, no. I do want Did you it. see they have a Crunchwrap packet? Like the whole setup? You can make them? So now? we did we that it. originally when Kayla posted that uh, uh, TikTok. Uh-huh. That's what I got was a Crunchwrap. Yeah. But you know what? Yours are better. Better. Well, no. it's. Like, all the same shit we buy. Yeah, but it's a thicker tortilla. You know what I'm saying? So, you want a nice, thick tortilla? So every time I it cook fills you up over a here, more. it's always, like, chopped cheese or it's burgers. I want to do, like, fajitas or something. I want to do some kind of chicken or something on there. Okay. Trying to get fancy on me. So I, I, you are trying yeah. to fuck my wife. <laughs> He's trying to fuck you, <laughs> Jeffrey. Hey. He's coming for you. I'm just trying, <gasps> to, I'm just trying to make that love sandwich, baby. Ooh, baby. Hey, you guys are the white bread uh, on the work in the middle. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'll put the chair in the bedroom tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the cognac. <laughs> he can watch us sleep. <laughs> yeah. Go. God damn, uh, Jeff. Go. I was People just telling. already probably fucking have a think that this is how it works, and it doesn't work like that at all, folks. I go home, and these two beat each other up. Yep. Hmm? Usually. Jeff's usually the one taking the beating. Yeah. <laughs> no, That's I am thinking. Funny, you That's shut a, up. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff's a battered wife. Clearly, as you can tell, very and it, battered. So and it's yes. pancake batter. Maybe some guys <laughs> like getting beaten. Some guys like their balls stepped on. Oh. Not me. Not him. <laughs> Every time the dogs do it, he's like, "God damn it again!" How about Logan today? Just hopping up into my lap like you. Oh like, my god, Logan! I was like parkour. <laughs> Logan, <laughs> Logan did that thing where he almost like bunny hops off the floor. Oh yeah, you know it. I right say, into you've my, seen it. Right into my lap. Oh yeah, they do not miss. No, he, they do not miss my balls. He landed both on each paw on both thighs. It so was I got funny. Lucky. He really mm-hmm. seriously like bunny hopped up onto Sean's. Oh, anytime oh. the dogs walk across me, it's balls. balls oh, and then they balls, no balls, dick balls. If, dick if, balls. if Jeff and I are sit, <laughs> Jeff and I were sitting on the couch the one day and legitimately Blade walked across. Stomped on my nuts and stopped and stared at Jeff as he was just <laughs> putting all of his weight on his one back paw. I'm like, dude, you got to get off my nuts. He's like, watch his face, Jeff. And then they'll just stand there. Yeah. I don't know what it is about the dick and balls. They have they just beeline for it. They stand right <laughs> on it. I, I have know. two thighs here. Yeah. Which is so funny because the dogs, I have so many bruises on my thighs from the dogs. So what? All right. When they walk across you, do they just stomp on your beaver? No. 
<laughs> what the fuck? But it's like they, they know. They Is it a up, dominance thing? When they come up, maybe. But when they come up, like, if I'm laying on the couch and they come up for, like, lovins and they want to lay on me, they do step all over my chest. I, you and know that what, does hurt. I, you know what I think, though, too, is because our seated position is different. Just widespread? No, because we don't well, want to sit on our nuts. Right, your shit's there. <laughs> so we kind of, you know, when you sit down, you kind of adjust. Yeah, but sit. you can walk from thigh to thigh. Yeah, no. They do do that with me. Yeah, not no, with a, not with us. It's right. It's but it is directly it's, on the dick. But I am wondering if it's the way that you guys sit too. Yeah, it's like, posture. Like I, if I'm sitting on the couch, usually I'm sitting like this, like with my legs together, no, and so spread, the dogs spread eagle. Not like not like that. We're, we man spread. Yes, this is how I sit on the no, couch. Yeah, no, you do. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. I man spread. When, when the dogs come through and they step down, they have a space. They mm. step down into, and it just happens that your I junk is there. It. So I think that's I cannot wait happens. for next week's podcast. I'm Let's so see. excited. I'm so excited. Is this the one? Yeah. All right. Get ready, folks. I'm so the excited. The 19th. I cannot wait. It's going to be good. It, uh, oh, I also said, hey, man, just to let you know, you can come over with the kids. There is a pool. Bring the oh, wife. Oh, yeah. Oh, the whole family's coming up? Oh, oh for yeah. sure. Yeah. They're, Have them all they're over. all in Chicago right now. So shout out, Steve. Steve, you get to meet him Bring next the week, fam, man, for sure. I'm like, there's a pool, like, we yeah, can let's chill. do it. We could chill yeah. all day and just mellow the fuck out. Do we have? I like when we have guests, like even when we had uh, Adam and Bob on, like, yeah. just come over. Let's just hang out for a little bit. Yeah, have some drinks, have some food, yeah. and then we'll do the pot. I don't want to. I don't want people to just come over and just. All right, let's record. Like, I want it to be no, a we inviting environment. That's and the just best Relax part about a little bit. That's the best part about, like, anybody that listens to the podcast, I, I always get the comment, is like, bro, I, I start answering your guys' questions. I oh, go, yeah. That's We're yelling the, at the screen. Yeah, yeah. that's the point. <laughs> that's, like, you could listen to Rogan, you could listen to all those guys, and it's always a, a short shout fo- out. I do, I do love I, Joe I, Rogan. I, I as well. Mm-hmm. It's a, but it's always, <laughs> it's an interview. We're not interviewing anybody. We're here to have a good time, shoot yeah. the shit. And tell life stories that hopefully will help out other people with their <clears throat> fucking issues. Mm-hmm. Because, like I said, my side is chock full of depression. Jeff's is like sunny. Like the, the scene. It wasn't always. But the scene from uh, 21 Jump Street where they're on the, the one scene is he's like all, Channing Tatum's all happy. And like there's clouds. And, I, yeah. and on the other <laughs> side is Jonah Hill. And he's like <laughs> in hell. That's like Jeff and I, like, if you look into our brains. And I'm sandwiched right in between. Sometimes I'm yeah. happy and sometimes I'm <laughs> real fucked up. Kayla's on my side giving me hand, high fives. I'm like, and, yeah, fuck this. And I'm like, yeah, just keep smiling. It'll yeah. be fine. It will be good. <laughs> but that's the whole point of, of us starting to do this is this. We're, we're, we're dumbasses. We are. Mm-hmm. Well, it's just life. Everyone has probably a friend like us, you know. And if you and, don't, uh, I'm sorry. It yeah, does I, suck. I'm you sorry. Can be my we'll friend. be your friend. <laughs> I'll be your friend. Just saddle up. But yeah, I mean, life is uh, it's it's fucking crazy. I just I I just it choose is. to look at it in a positive way. Maybe sometimes it fucks me, but sometimes you're too positive. Yeah, I just sometimes I'm just like you're I too grew calm. Up, you're too positive. I grew this up in a not a time dark place, and I just choose to not uh, not be there. You used your past as. The building bro- blocks to the person you are today. Yeah. So you, you should. You step on the You should deck. learn from your experiences and learn from life. And yeah. you have a choice. Happiness, I believe, to be honest, I feel like happiness is a choice. It is. It's, it is hard, though, when you've got, like, like mental some, health is a real thing. Yeah. It is, but sometimes there are so many people that is woe is me, and they just yeah they, they push, dwell in it. Yes, and they just just get the fuck out of it. I mean, to even right. be alive is I fucking love every second of life. Right, really but it is do. hard. Like for it. people that actually have like mental health issues, it is that is. Different. I mean, I feel like you and I can sit here and talk about that. Oh, where it's like long. it's harder to. It's harder for us to get like, okay, something shitty happens. You're like, well, I'm alive. I'm happy. We're that like, was a big argument that you and I, when we first started yeah. dating was because I am just so, we'll worry about it later. Yeah. I, let's just I, have I would fun love, now. I would love to do you, that. 
I would love it to do that. It is very hard but... to have a discussion and, with someone maybe who is anxiety. I've never, I don't have anxiety. Well, I have, like, I'll just, whatever, it's my business. I've got anxiety, depression. Like, it's... It's not they as go easy. Hand, to, but it's hard to have a conversation. They go together like lamb. It's hard to have a conversation. Like, obviously, I love you. You're my wife. I married you. I locked it He's down. He's about to say some stupid shit. No, but no. I'm just saying it's very hard for me um, when you're having problems with your anxiety or depression because I don't understand it. And I try to, um, I try to communicate the way that I think about it but it's very hard to talk to someone who has it and uh-huh. you have know nothing about it so i try to my favorite thing is when people ask like if i'm talking to like my girlfriends about what's going on they're like well what jeff say and i'm like nothing and they're like he didn't say anything i'm like he's told me he doesn't know what to say <laughs> so i i don't need him to yes say because anything. i i what would i say i feel like don't tell me to calm down right I feel like the way that I communicate wouldn't help you. Right, and I know that. Because I don't understand it. And it's a very, it's a fickle line to mm-hmm. uh, tightrope. Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's, it is, it's difficult. That's where it's like, it's easy for people that don't have it to be like. We oh, just, just cheer up. Just, just cheer up, it's fine. And it's like, fun. yeah, I would fucking love to. I don't enjoy being here. Yeah. <laughs> so my friend uh, that just got hired by Gilly the new tattoo artist oh over there. okay mm-hmm. you know her yeah angela yeah she um she designed a tattoo that i'm doing uh, that i'm like don't let anybody else get that yeah i want that and i'll show it to you guys when we're off the air but it says uh, in the tattoo it says memento mori which means remember you must die and so you take that that statement and then you break it down in your own head and the way i look at it is no matter what you're gonna die Mm-hmm. You don't know when, you don't know how, you don't, whatever. That doesn't matter. There's there's an end to this story. Yeah, and no one's escaping it. Yeah. Nope. So live each day knowing that one day you ain't going to have that next day. Right, then that ties into my anxiety and I start thinking about that. Though, yeah, but I'm no. like, God damn it. But no. But so you can think it, about that and just embrace every day, though. Yeah. and You can like take said, it two ways. Like, oh, I, fuck, I'm going to die, or let's live every day like it's the fucking greatest day ever. Yeah, because you never know when it's the end. So stop dwelling on shit you can't change. Start moving forward, pressing for a better life instead of dwelling on the bullshit that you can't change. Right. Yeah. And, and Gotta try. It's... It's, and it's not about being like, oh, I'm so happy. You're not going to have every day that's a happy, a positive day. Mm-mm. No matter what, even no. even you have bad days. No oh, matter how course, positive yeah, you are, sure. even you have shit days. When he has those shit days, too, I get so disturbed. I'm gonna yes, honey. My child. So. <laughs> <laughs> yup. That's fine. Let the dogs out. That's our blessing. She has no idea. We were walking in the store the other day, and she's like, Dad, I'm going to be 10. And I was like, yeah. I was like, did it go by fast for you? Because as I feel like the oh, older you get, blink. the faster oh, it goes. Oh, yeah, it does. She's like, oh, my God, it's been so slow. And for me, it's just been it's a blink. 10 uh-huh. years went in a blink I remember hold getting just... into the elevator with you going up to her room to hold Bella. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember meeting the boys for the first time and going, holy shit, their voices are so high. But someone put it, <laughs> someone put it in perspective better than I can, but I'm just going to try and sum it up. But when you're 10, one year is forever. 10%. I mean, that's yeah, pretty decent. Yeah. And now that you're 40, 50, 60, 10 years is a year is a blip. That's... If you go by I know wise. we're almost a year in. We got married almost a fucking year ago. That is insane Boom. to me. Done. Two and a half because weeks away. That basically. doesn't feel like it was a year ago. Like I'm mind blown by that. It goes by. Oh, fast. it's depressing. See this sell so, so the spiral it's, see, starts. But, but, it, but it's not. It's not depressing because uh, you remember that day. Kind of, well, yeah, kind of. Well, I you remember the good <laughs> parts of that day. Yes. Yes, I do. I try to live every day as awesome 
I, I this is <laughs> like the Lego movie. Everything Every, is awesome. Everything is awesome. But I feel like as you get older and you work and you do all the shit, like when you're a kid, every day is a party, right? Yeah. As you get older and you work, I feel like everyone is just looking forward. I can't wait for the weekend. Mm -hmm. I can't wait for this. I can't wait till I retire. And it's like, if you're doing that, you're missing all the shit you're that's like happening on a Tuesday. You're missing all the good parts. Because I can't wait till fucking Friday where I don't have to work. I don't have to party. So the way I look at life is I try to enjoy Tuesdays. But this is Wednesdays. where, this is where like, I start thinking like that. And that's where I have like the, all these business plans sit up here. And I'm like, I need people to help me ask, act, like execute these business plans because I don't think I do well working for other people. Yeah, well, you don't. I want to work for myself. Well, everybody does. Right, but like it's possible. That's the whole point of this. But it's, <laughs> we want to work for ourselves. Let's go. It's a possible thing to do. We want to do this every do. day. Yeah. Will you please tell your friends to follow us? Just subscribe. You don't even have to watch. Just subscribe. Look at all the life lessons you're learning. All of them. So many. <laughs> you're, you're watching our breakdowns right in front of you. Yeah, we're all going to cry after I won't, this. I won't cry. <laughs> there'll, there'll be one giant group hug at the end of this. I won't uh. cry because I did make it to the weekend and we're going to go to a Hawaiian party. And I'm super excited. I am excited for that. And Sean's going to find his Hawaiian shirt. Carpe closet. diem. Let's go. You, you know what I'm excited for? I love that saying. I want to get it tattooed on me, but Seize the someone carp. I know uh, already has it. So I'm not. Seize Carpe the carp. Diem. Seize the day. Seize, Seize the, the fucking day. Seize that's how I live my life. Let's go. If you know what movie that's from, you're, you can be friends with us. Well, I don't seize the carp. It's funny. I, I don't, don't fish. You know what makes me excited? Is I open Titties? the fridge. <laughs> yes. But I open the fridge to grab <laughs> grab Kayla's cocktail there, and there is deviled eggs in there. And I I'm almost, just, tail. I almost <laughs> just opened it up and snagged it out of the way. Though. I, gra I opened the fridge and almost grabbed Kayla's cocktail. That's and my deviled pause. eggs. I saw the devil eggs. I was like, okay, they're coming with us to the I'm party. Like, Maybe I need to go to this party. You should come. Why You're not? Carpe diem. Let's go. Motherfucker. Let's seize the carp. Is let's go. Seize on? the carp, baby. He's Get a Hawaiian shirt on and let's go. I don't have a Hawaiian shirt. I feel like you've got something. This podcast might be called it. fucking seize the day. Let's go. Seize the carp. Seize the carp? Yeah. Seize the How carp. How dare you. I'm you know, what movie is that from, Jeff? We might I don't get know. some fisherman subscribers if you put that in there. Carpe diem, man. You know, seize the carp. I'm lost right now. Out cold. Ooh, god damn it. You Love should that know too. that. I, I feel should. Like, I feel like you I guys. I feel embarrassed. That's, that's, that's 10 push-ups, buddy. I wouldn't know All what to right, do on that podcast, but I do think that with the movie quote shit, uh, I don't want to use his real name, so I'm just going to say Ace would be a really good person. Oh, yeah. For you guys we could to have and a talk whole about movies. conversation. Movie oh, quotes. just movie quotes for sure I between really, the three of you. I really cannot wait to do the Kayla watches insert 80s action <laughs> movie here. <laughs> my face. Oh, my God. That's the other thing. Arsenal. Wait till you see RoboCop shoot a bunch of dicks. <laughs> All You're gonna lose day. your mind. Dude, our day. social worker, I feel bad. I don't know that she'd be okay with me giving her name out. So our social worker, she goes, My favorite thing about the podcast, she goes, is your faces that you make. She goes, and I feel like Jeff always just puts them out there. Like Maybe. all the faces you make. I'm like, I know. What? I, I make stupid fa faces. Yeah. You're you're very How do you not? you're very uh, facially <laughs> reactive I, to I things. Know. It's bad. It's, it's like that meme you sent me where you got, always have the judging eyes and my husband needs the... <laughs> <laughs> okay, check it, check She's it. She's like, mm, and I'm just like, Kill, fix your face. <laughs> 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 For the love of God, fix your face, oh, honey. Oh, it's true. Yeah, I do tell people that at work, too. I'm like, if I'm ever, just tell me fix my face, yeah, okay? I have judging eyes. I don't mean to. Always That's why judging, I got this going. Always judging, always judging. Yeah. I was like, eh. And I don't know, I have a wrinkle here. I, do I always, like, look surprised? <laughs> look, he's always so happy. What? Yeah, we're actually, having a great time. Actually, uh, 10 years of DJing did that to you because you'd had to keep your eyes like that. To fucking, he's like, I'm awake. <laughs> I'm awake. Oh, I, I'm awake. I got to drive home. <laughs> I'm, I'm awake. <laughs> My Lord. I got to drive him oh, home. That's Man, funny. I, I need coffee to drive him home. I'm depressed. Well, <laughs> I'm depressed. I'm empty. Let's do a shot and for you on this. What are we at right now? We got 50. seven minutes. Oh, no, we don't. We can end this right now. Let's do some shots. I am not. Hey, seize the carp. <laughs> seize the carp.
Ooh, you're taking that with that zen and uh, yeah, me too. Uh, you do it, Kayla. Do one. No, absolutely not. That stuff almost made me puke last time. It tastes like what I would imagine butthole tastes like. What? You've never eaten an ass? No. I mean, you can find out later tonight. I don't want to. We might, can. You can. It might I be a little don't. salty. I don't want to. A little sweaty. I don't want to. It's like licking the carpet. So much hair. <laughs> it's not a safe place to go. No. You don't want any. I, you ever I drop bubble gum in a shag carpet? That's exactly what that's going to be like. I ain't trying to get in there. I wouldn't even want my asshole eaten. I, I would just be laying there like, oh, she's not enjoying this at all. Why? Like, Why? Who is eating ass these days? Why are they eating ass? That's a funny story. Why? Because it's it's the or it's who? the neighbor. No, no, no. I was, me and Frankie were at fucking Big Star. So this restaurant, it's one of those old school diners where you pull up and park and they come out to your car and order. So we're in there and I don't know how it started, but we just started talking about eating ass. And his window's down, and he's looking over, and he's like, who's eating ass? I'm like, everybody's eating ass. And she's like, hi, can I take your order? (laughs) (laughs) Timing. 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 I said, yeah, we'll take six fur burgers (laughs) and a whisker biscuit. (laughs) So gross. Just perfect fucking timing. So gross. I enjoyed the the joke by... By old Andrew Dice Clay. Everybody, no one is, yeah, I eat my wife's ass. No one ever, no one ever. It's like the neighbor to the pussy. The pussy. <laughs> the it, neighbor? It, but it's like the neighbor that plays the music too loud it's at like 2 your o'clock. It's like the neighbor. <laughs> plays the music too loud. Your dad's neighbor, Kid Rock. Oh, <laughs> That's the butthole kid of the eat. vagina. Oh. It's, it's, it's the neighbor that plays the music too loud at 2 o'clock in the morning when you're trying to get the baby to sleep. Ugh. <sighs> oh. Dude, with Bella coming down and talking about marriage and kids, I'll tell you a fucking funny story. So I went to my uh, niece's uh, uh, softball game, and uh, Bella's playing with this other girl. They're running around, yada, yada. And my other niece is there, Henley. And uh, so all of a sudden, the one girl's crying. And then Henley's crying. We're like, what the fuck? So the other girl stops crying. They come over, and my sister's like, what's going on? And she's like, oh, they made a comment, yada, yada. And uh, my sister goes to the girl and she goes, you know that she was just joking, right? And she goes, yes, I know she was joking. But she knows I don't like jokes. (laughs) 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 And I fucking lost my shit. shit. Just the way kids think and kids argue. so funny. She knows I don't like jokes. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Who doesn't like why would why don't you like jokes? I don't know. People that don't like jokes are like people that don't like music. I don't trust them. Right. <sighs> yeah, I have no time for I you. also grew up. You don't in. like what? You don't like what? Then dogs. I don't like people that don't like dogs. That makes me If you don't like cats, I'm alright with it. Because I'm not a big cat fan myself. I know no. I got two cats and I'm still like, eh, I get it. Yeah, I get it. But cats if you don't like assholes. dogs, there's like something you wrong have, with you. Especially if you don't like like Because dogs are just it's unconditional love. If you yes. want to feel unconditional love, right. a dog. I mean, I you get have a it. good dog. It is the greatest feeling in the world because no matter when you come home, you had a bad day. That dog doesn't give a fuck about. They're your bad excited. Day. Pet me, pet me. Hi, you're home. They're excited. They're like, hey, hey. The only time I can ever accept that somebody doesn't like a dog. No is one has. They a, have a traumatic ass story about a dog. Yeah, if they got attacked by a. Dog. Like like a pack of dogs. Yeah. I'm gonna put like, this out there. It. No one has an emotional support cat, do they? No, because cats are assholes. <laughs> Guns. That cat's gonna make you more depressed. Is it weird that orange cats are like the evilest of the cats? No, they're not. Orange? No, I don't believe you. A lot of the things I see online is that orange, the orange cats, cats are always the spiciest ones. No. Garfield. Well, because they don't like Mondays. But they Ooh. love lasagna. They definitely do. <laughs> <laughs> and with that being said, eat your lasagna. That brings us to an end of another podcast. She's coming in. For Kayla, in. for Jeff, I am Sean. Thank you for again Bella. for listening. For Bella as well. Thank you again for listening. And don't forget, if you're looking for a new energy drink, go to w.gg and use the code TGDPOD. It is delicious. And get 10% off of your order, as well as go check out Kicks and Canvas underscore 223 if you want some custom kicks done by Jeff. And 
Go to Small Town Infamous on Instagram and check out all the links in the bio to go check out our t- my T-shirts. And we got new merch coming this week. Coming because soon. I got nothing else better to do this week than design some new merch. And cook us dinner. And cook you guys dinner. And check out the Lady of the Pod. Lady of the Pod underscore TGD, yeah, I yeah. believe. That's on TikTok. On the old tick of the talk, Small Town Infamous on TikTok as well. Go give us a follow, please. We love doing this every week. But we still have to work real jobs. <laughs> like we're gonna keep yes. them coming no matter. We're what. gonna keep doing no matter what. But we can give you more content if we could get paid to do this. So please go like, subscribe, and share to all your friends, family, doctors. That guy you see walking down the street with a limp and he's talking to himself. Tell him to follow us too because I'm, he's got a phone. It's like I, they all do <laughs> now. Do Even the homeless people have phones. Yes. Mm-hmm. Very strange. We'll come back again next week. Next week, huge episode. We, uh, episode we've been talking about since so 2019. Let's so go. thank you all very much. <laughs> so we will see you next week. Once again, like, share, subscribe, and we love y'all. Thanks. Peace.